So hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be seeing how we can solve economic dispatch problems using linear programming and MATLAB. We'll be using the function linear prog. So we'll take an example. So to begin with, we have um, three power plants, P1, P2, P3. The cost per megawatt hour in each power plant is three euros and then four euros and then 3.5 euros per megawatt hour and then the minimum value of megawatts the power output is 30 megawatts and the maximum is 60 for plant one and then for plant two it's 40 and for plant three it's 60 for plant two it's 40 to 65 for plant three it's 20 to 55 and the demand for the next jar is assumed to be 100 145 megawatt hour and then we also have an additional constraint, an inequality constraint, that is P1 plus P3 is less than or equal to 95 megawatt. Okay, and so the objective is to minimize the cost, which is 3P1 into plus 4P2 plus 3.5P3. That's basically the cost per megawatt hour. And then you have P1 plus P2 plus P3 should be equal to 145. So now coming to the MATLAB function for linear programming. Um, this is the syntax. You have x that will give you the values of um, um, the values of the amount of power each plant produces. Final value will give you the total cost of the function. Output will give you the output and the lambda will give you the marginal cost and f is basically um, the constants or the coefficients of p1, p2, and p3 in the cost function, and then a is a capital A and small b is b is the right hand side of the inequality constraint, and a is the left hand side of the inequality constraint since it's p1 and p3. Um, coefficients of p1 and p3 is one, and then p2 is zero because the p2 term does not exist. And then A equality and B equality uh, helps satisfy the equality constraint. You have 1, 1, 1, that is P1 plus P2 plus P3 will give you 145. And then you have the lower bound and upper bound constraints as per the, um, for each plants as well. So now let's go to MATLAB and let's have a look at our code. Okay then, now, um, I've already typed in the code. So you have F, th 4, and 3.5. Those are the costs per megawatt for P1, P2, P3. And we have the inequality constraint. That's P1 plus P3 is less than or equal to 95. And then you have the equality constraint of P1 plus P2 plus P3 is equal to 145. And then you have lower bounds for P1 is 30 megawatt and upper bound is 60. And then 40 and 65 for P2 and 20 and 55 for P3. Now, if you run this code, you see that an optimal solution has been found. If you look at the values, so P1 is operating at the boundary condition that is at 60 megawatts. P2 is operating between it, it's 50. And then P3 is also between the upper bound and lower bound, which is 35. So the marginal, so the marginal cost of the equation will, um, of this problem will not be the same for all power plants because it's operating at because p1 is operating at the boundary condition and if you look at the final cost we get f well we will get um 502.5 euros so yeah i mean that's it for this video i hope you guys like the video can you subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions, do drop it in the comment section below. Thank you.